What TV show has a character named Flambo? 94 in the Shade. Mo, oh, Myra Joyce. Myra Joyce, first thing this morning. I ain't leaving. My, Myra Joyce has, I think it's below 40. She doesn't come downtown. And anything 90 and above, she doesn't come uptown. And, if the, Brown. And, and if the buses are not running. And <laughs> if the buses are not running. Very good, Mandy. Yes, Father Brown. Flambeau Field? Could be. <laughs> no. Father Brown Mysteries. Correct. Okay, Dick. Oh, we're, wow. That was I fast. Think, I think Great. I've got all the buttons pushed and all wow. the configurations configured. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go over there. And, and uh, are camera. you ready to also show that extra picture of George? I after think I am. Let me confirm. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't ask his permission, but I, I'm sure he would. Well, he mind. sent it to you. Yeah, that's, that's what like, I think. If he sent it to me, <laughs> you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I have to share it with somebody. Uh, okay, ready when you are. Yeah, let me uh, get both of these. So now I got both last week's and this week's, so we can compare. Mm -hmm. And we'll start with photo number one. Okay, so I've got some photo number one selected, but let me go back over into this other machine mm -hmm. so that I can play the opening theme. All righty, I'm ready. Oh, if I'm ready, then I have to slate it. Okay, so this is July. Oh my gosh, it's July. Uh, this is July 23rd. The 23rd of July. So this is the Giz Fizz, episode 483, recorded on Saturday, July 23rd, 2022. And it begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Wiz. It's kind of like... Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt's Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. And the Harp Ladies are here, even though it is Hot all over, or pretty much all over, except in Petaluma. Um, okay, so we're going to do photos that George Davis sent us that you caption. We're going to do a snappy answer. You'll write the snappy answer to a stupid question. We have a funky food Guinness Book of World Records question, and we're going to play logo and match game. And we'll begin with fo oh well, first we have to get the crickets ready who wants to be chat room celebrity of the week all right that's what i thought but if you listen to the end of tech guy labs uh micah is up to doing it one week okay he doesn't want to do it <laughs> After three hours of doing the show, but he said yes, yeah, he will do here's it. Here's the thing. He's going to be doing three hours of the show every Saturday, So, but he won't be oh. alone. We don't want to make him do it after he's been doing three hours of the show by himself. By himself. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I see well, what when Leo does all the work and he's just chiming in occasionally, then maybe he'll feel like it. Okay. Okay. Got that, chat room? All right. Photo number one from George Davis that you caption okay it's a break dancer i guess that's it there's a break dancer the guy is on the floor holding himself up with one arm the other arm in the air for those of you who are just doing audio only okay man break dancing one arm holding him up on the pavement and the other arm in the air Whee! i'm breaking my wrist Early parquet move. No, my arm really is broken. Oh, that's funny. Can I move yet? New 5G antenna. Help me hold the floor down. Medic. Chumley breakdancing. 
Oh, he fell down and broke his arm. Breakdancing so fast the world is devoid of color. Oh, that's right. Only the guy is in color. Uh, why are they going so fast? Um, bring out the hearse. Mom, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Now that is super glue. Breakdancing in the Matrix. Oops, I didn't see the banana peel. Uh, L, wow. Uh, new move on being a waiter. Pablo Picasso's favorite dance style. It's hospital time. I've fallen and I can't get up. That penny is mine. Oh, that's very funny. Empty pockets. New shoes. Not sure how to use them yet. Don't break anything. Hope you'll be able to play the piano after your arm heals. I'll stand on one arm until Micah is chat room celebrity of the week. Um, I can't find the pizza rat. I have no money, so it's broke dancing. Another slipped on the banana peel. Dude, you got a forearm growing out of your side. Don't break any bones. And oh my God, they're going fast. So fast, it's green shifted. This is the end of a very bad skydiving decision. And we'll end with my arm just snapped and break wrist dancing. Uh, you guys are good, chat room. Very good. Let's see. George said, for the man breakdancing, my caption is, oh, 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 George, you got a lot of matches. My caption is, oh, oh, that cracking sign's not good. My arm is starting to hurt. Um, okay, photo number two is... Oh, wow. A horse with his neck turned all the way so that he, I guess he's biting a, a fly or something. But he, uh, <laughs> that guy had a sore arm. This horse is going to have a sore neck, okay? A horse twisting his head around so that he can actually touch his back. All right? A horse with his head twisted so far around he can lick his back or bite his back. Up, uh, oh, that's the spot. See, I can kiss my own butt. Um, now a horse, <laughs> Logan five said, now the horse is break dancing. Um, if I could only scratch this tick, this itch, damn flies. Look at me. I'm fancy. A horse fly on my rump, horse Pilates, uh, horse yoga. I hate it when I have an itch. I can't reach freaking horse flies taking a bite at a crime. The cat says I can't beat that pony yoga. Uh, I can break dance too. What, you never seen a horse yo do yoga? Uh, another possible 5G antenna. Strike a pose. Lost my back scratcher. Butt kisser. Now if my tongue was a little longer. Then I turned around like this and I bit him. Uh, I got the theme of these photos. Things that are breaking, says Logan5. Uh, this decision is really biting me in the butt. It's Aquarian exorcism. <laughs> uh, dog is trying to hide behind the horse. You put your head in, not your head out. Backup camera not working, need to turn head. No sneaking up on me. My version of breakdancing. Cartoon says this is called horse bite riding. <laughs> Uh, and we'll end with, I can fit into that dress now. And horse knees needs massage. Did you see the doggy? No, I, oh, I do now. <laughs> There's a little bit of tail, a little bit of paw, a little bit of nose. Yes. Very good, whoever pointed that out. Excellent. George said, for the horse biting its back, my caption is: I could stretch one more inch. I could ma one more inch. I could manage this itch. Uh, okay, photo number three is this one. Oh, it's Leo coming back from his trip. Uh, okay, so it is a person we cannot see, but they are obviously a famous person because. There are cameras held in the air everywhere to get this person's picture, man or woman. 
okay, a famous person we can't see being attacked <laughs> by the press. Um, okay, Okaru says can't go out in public anymore. Dr. Mom, say cheese. Who gives $100 to this camera? Broken news. Lights, camera, action. Got the fly, broke my back. Oh, last uh, question. Giz was walking to the store. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ant-Man news conference. Breaking news. Invisible Man interview. Camera fans meet up. Anybody got a spare camera? Elvis has been spotted. He dropped a Bitcoin. Um, he's riding a bike again. Paparazzi accessories. Um, oh, da, da, da. Gizwiz press conference. Interview with a space alien. <laughs> Chat room celebrity of the week heads into studio. Yeah, right. Aha, they fooled you. It isn't anybody there. Not impressed by the press of press. Dick out in public. Yeah, that'll be the day. Trying to catch a glimpse of the invisible man. Smile for the flock of birdies. Uh, Boris Johnson is here. The revolution will be terror. Uh, Transformer 15, the revolution will be televised. Brazilian camera in air hockey par holiday parade. Uh, <laughs> special coverage of cracking the sidewalk. Turn around, coming out the other door. And we'll end with so much equipment for a stupid picture. Okay, George said, for a person swamped all around by news reports, my caption is, help, help, please step back and I'll tell you about how I got this winning lotto number. Well, that's right. Isn't the lottery up to like a billion dollars or something incredible. It's very funny because just earlier I was telling Dennis, I don't know why the thought came into my mind, but um, uh, in the NBC lobby, there are, are velvet ropes that you have to show your ID to to go through to get to the elevators. You have to show your ID to the ropes? <laughs> yes, exactly. To, to who, the person standing at the ropes. But standing right outside the ropes, there's always a big crowd of people. And it's always the same. To every person who goes by, are you anybody famous? Are you anybody famous? Uh, so sometimes I say, I'm Burt Lancaster. No one's ever fallen for any of them. Any that I've done. Okay, photo number four. Photo four. Oh, a shipping port. A shipping port with a ton of containers. But unlike shipping ports today, oh, maybe you can see them way far away. I was just reading that. I think in New York Harbor there are 31 ships waiting uh, to get unloaded, and that the wait is four to seven days. Anyway, it's a shipping port, uh, tons of cranes, tons of containers. Um, uh, um, Mandy said, I think your logo collection's out of control, waiting for my widget to arrive. Where's my Amazon package? How about this port in a storm? Cheap cruiser tickets, a ton of 20-ton containers. Uh, California trucker strike. Wave to your toilet paper. Gives with new boat arriving. That's not anytime soon. Uh, my new TV is in that orange container. Singapore sling broken in today. Do all of these go to Disneyland? Stuff for the Giz Fizz warehouse has arrived. I think I can see my new iPad. Uh, just put the spare containers on Alcatraz over there. 99% of China has arrived. My sneakers are in that one. Uh, which one has my Amazon order? A row of containers just disappeared. This isn't a port. It's Tetris. My cheese order is, going, is arriving spoiled. Sorry, Leo. No room to dock. Container store. COVID edition. 
this is where the invasion starts, but the locks don't work. Uh, help me, I got locked in a container. Godzilla manicure station. My ship finally came in. All I got were those empty containers. Where's my package? Where's my ton of chocolate? The spice must float. Where's Waldo? Somewhere in here is my lost shaker of salt. And we'll end with, I knew I should have taken a right at Albuquerque. Okay. All right. George said, for a seaport full of loaded containers, my caption is, hurry up, everyone. We have to find this aqua-colored container. It's full of beef. And it's 110 degrees outside. I don't think anything edible would be shipped in one of those containers, would they? Aren't they usually on the docks for days at least? Uh, okay, photo five. Oh, uh, giraffe. Close-up of a giraffe. We only see like three feet of his neck. Okay. Close-up of a giraffe looking at us with his ears and... What do you call it? Are those horns? I know all giraffes have them. Yeah, a Dennis photo. Dennis loves giraffes. Um, Dennis, oh, oh, tech dino, yeah. Uh, edible needs to find. Walk like a camel. My head is in the Google cloud. <laughs> Want to see me break dance? I am smiling, looking for Dennis. That look, that look, that Maybelline look. They're horns, said Chumley. Ready for my close-up, Melvin's uh, spring picture day. Not going to break dance for you, Alien Antennas, Maybelline advert. Uh, I'm ready for my steam close-up. Pardon me, I'm lost. Ten-inch tongue included. Do you have my food? Uh... Jeffrey from Toys R Us still looking for a new gig. I think Toys R Us is coming back. Uh, did you get your local TV station with those antennas? Um, K-Frame said, refrigerated containers plug in when they're on the ship. Just remember one day you'll be looking up at me. Yes, the weather's fine up here. I got a tongue to pick with you. And what are you doing up in this tree? Uh, okay, George said, for the giraffe bending down for a close-up photo, my caption is, I've never seen an animal with such beautiful brown eyes and long eyelashes. Okay. They do have long eyelashes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, photo six of six. Oh, oh, wow. Close-up. Homemade chocolate chip cookies. Oh. Close up of chocolate chip cookies. Tech Dino said cookies for me. What chips shortage? Oh, stop me now. Got milk. Somewhere in there, there's a pug's little face. Needs more chocolate chips. Dickie's uh, dinner. Do bad Meyer is in there. Cookie pox. The cookie mosh pit. <laughs> I wish. Chocolate chips with dog faces. A question for Al. See, it's for cookies. Sorry, I dropped the cookie dough in the cow pasture. Cookies enabled. These are my mini cookie. How many can you eat? I'm hungry now. Our site uses cookies. Do you accept? It's a trap. They're raisins. Mini cookie. Who ruined your life in order to get these? Bet you can't eat just one. These would be better topped with cheese. Oh my God! Uh, I gained ten, uh, I gained five pounds just looking. Cheese, cheese, really? Too, too much baking powder. These cookies bake themselves. Mega chips, no extra charge. Yes, George is making us drool. Okay, there's mine. Where's yours? Uh, chicken head. This picture reminds requires the use of kickers. Do you wish to continue? Um, okay, and George said, <laughs> for a photo of at least 50 chocolate chip cookies, 
Okay, kids, just line up, and each one of you will get four cookies and a cold glass of milk. How's that for a treat? I'm sure George meant to say at least 15 chocolate chip cookies. Oh, okay. Oh, probably. <laughs> I'm, hard, I'm gonna having a hard time getting 50 out of this picture. Yes, I mean, that's I want true. 50. <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah, there was a, a, a funny cartoon. I, I, I reposted it. It's a dog at the computer, and it said, and, and the dog is reading, and it says, "Will you? Do you accept our cookies?" And the dog is saying, "Yes, yes, 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 cookies, yes." <laughs> oh, fact time, George. Oh, wait a minute, we have one more photo, and oh, I forgot to copy down the caption. Did I, did I include the caption with the photo? I believe it was the it subject is, of the uh, email. Yes. New me, and, there's, and no there's beard and new teeth. There it is. This a uh, photo from George. New. Oh wow, George, you take incredibly good photos. You look. Yeah, yeah. I think I like the beard more, but either one. Well, this one's a little more dramatic with the uh, this lighting is more and dramatic. everything. This yeah. is this is just. You know what, uh, George? When you do your eight by tens. I would send out both photos and say, I can play comedy <laughs> and, and then send the other one and say, I can also do drama. George, you look, you look great. Uh, um, he took the other one first because these are his completed new teeth. Yeah, they are m magazine cover quality. And uh, George is never in chat room. I think he has slow internet. And he wants to keep it so that he can watch the chat room. But George, whatever camera, next, next week, if you think of it, tell us what camera you're using or what camera phone you're using. Okay, fact time. Um, marathon swimmer Martin Steele started out in northern Minnesota and ended up in the Gulf of Mexico swimming the length of the Mississippi River in how many days? Wow. Okay, marathon swimmer, Martin Steele, started out in Minnesota, ended up in the Gulf of Mexico, swam the entire length of the Mississippi River. How long did it take him? Well, you know what, George, no, he wants me to include how many, oh, oh, I'll just go with days. 260 days. No one is very close. Gemma B, you got a guess? God. Yeah. 10 days. 10 days. Oh, 10 days? Mississippi's length is unknown. Are right, you know a chat room? No one is real close. So I'll, I'll give you George's. He just put puts in parentheses the mileage. Okay, so redo your mileage. He swam two thousand three hundred and forty-eight miles. Ah, uh, okay, a hundred days. Two, 2,348 miles. God, that the country is that wide? Well, I guess the Mississippi River is not a straight line. Uh, 42 days, 400 days. No, my, we're not kilometers, miles. 70 days. Oh, people are getting way closer. Way closer, unless people are starting to Google. <laughs> A year or two, says Kylo Tech. Okay, now, Jamma B, what is your answer? 100 so days. I'm, how many? 100? 100. 100 days. Um, wow. Boy, they're all over the place, but... According to George, the answer is 
68 days. So there were a lot of 70 days. I see Giz once said 75 days. Redacted 80 days. 68 days. I had a friend, um, and I just saw her again yesterday, uh, works for a toy company. She was, she did the swim around Manhattan. I can't, I can't believe it. And, and I said, how long does that take? And she said, I, it takes about 10 hours. And you have to maintain a certain speed because if you get caught in the tide change, you're done for. Because flood tide in the Hudson is nine knots. So you have to swim at the tide. You have eight hours with the tide. Then you have four hours of slack tide. Then you have to get ready to be in the other river so the tide will be going with you again. And he said, all that filth. Anyway, I said, that, that is pretty impressive. Um, okay. Question two. Oh, this is very interesting. How many time zones... Does Russia have? Okay, George starts with Russia is huge. Russia is a huge country. How many time zones do they have? Wow. I mean, they could just have three and... It could cover a huge area. I mean, how would you? How would Twit handle that? So, if you want to watch Giz Fizz, it's four thirty California, five thirty Mountain, six thirty U.S., seven thirty so and so, eight thirty so. And all around the clock in Russia. <laughs> yes, um, eight more than they need. Eleven. Uh, in Russia, the Giz Fizz watches you. <laughs> uh, Roberto says Russia has... A, uh, Russia, are you looking it up, Roberto? Russia has 11 time zones. Mike B says as many as WPIX, which is channel 11. Nine. China has one. Rusky, eight. Jimmy B, got a guess? Russia's huge. How many time zones? Seven. Seven. I'm going to go with eight. I'll go with Giz, Giz uh, one, eight. Yeah, that's Gizzle one. Gizzle. Gizzle one. Bill in Michigan, seven. Still, Bill, is, I'm sticking with that no matter what. Um, Russia is a huge country. It has, oh, it has 11 time zones. So, Roberto, you're right. Jim, uh, J, uh, J. Mez says 11. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, George, these are fascinating questions. Blank is the only country that does not have mosquitoes. George, these are great. These are great. Or we can do it the other way. What is the only country... That does not have mosquitoes. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Greenland. Antarctica. A lot of Antarctica. Mom's in with an Antarctica. Is Antarctica a country? Material. I don't think it is, is it? You know, I think maybe I, it is. I don't think it is. Greenland. Who, who? Oh, thank you, Mr. Dave. Antarctica is not a country. Uh, gecko country, Greenland, but it has a lot of flies. Dr. Mom also said that is not a country. Greenland is a country. Oh, I don't know what that was. Uh, Dr. Mom's uh, is replying to which answer above it. Um, J286 says Transylvania because vampire bats don't like competition. 
Um, all right, I want to know this because I want to move there. Oh, okay. Uh, there are some correct answers. Jamma B, an answer? Canada. Oh, Canada had mosquitoes. I've been there. Okay. Iceland is the only country that does not have mosquitoes. Uh, and, and we Greenland, have a final... The chat room is telling us is a territory of Denmark. Oh, so it is not a wow. Country. Wow. Um, Gatorade was invented uh, at the University of Florida. Oh, and gets blank percentage... Of the profits from the sale. That's kind of fascinating. Gatorade was invented at the University of Florida, and they get what percentage of the profits from the sales? And at the Gatorade factory, who's in charge of the bookkeeping? Uh, oh, University of Florida, yeah. We sold... Uh, just five bottles last year. You know, it was, it was kind of cool. There are no... <laughs> Redacted said there are no profits. Yeah. 33%. You know, I got to think that by now Gatorade would have talked it down a lot. Uh, I'm going with 10%. Jamma B. I'm going with zero. None. None. Five <laughs> percent. Okay. Gatorade was invented at the University of Florida, and they get twenty percent wow. from sales. That'll wow. keep them in. Yeah. Chalky shorts. Yeah. Uh, George Enswith, thanks for learning a little something with me each week and doing these facts. See you all soon, and we'll do some more. Bye, George. George, I hope your modeling career doesn't affect your continuing to do photos and fun facts. But I think you have a. I think you can make some some money as a model, especially uh, you know companies are trying to get away from typical model people so you can model as a senior citizen a youthful senior citizen uh okay uh, um we're gonna do some logo mm -mm -mm -mm. Dun -dun. Um. sports <laughs> Lots of luck. What golf club, you might know this, what golf club brand is named for the sound the club makes when it hits the ball? Ping pong, isn't that a totally different game? <laughs> No, it's not called look out. Ping, ouch, swack, thwop. Sounds like Don Martin cartoons. Ping, wump, boink, <laughs> kaplunk, heads up, four, zoom, zoom, wish, swack, thwack. Jamma B, do you know? Golf club brand name for the sound the club makes when it hits the ball. I don't know. It is a lot of a lot of you people have it. It is ping. But the, I don't know. There's a does ping really redacted has it? Gives gives one, excuse me. It does? Um uh, Oh, tennis gear with a royal sounding name. Tennis gear. I only know it because of their. Oh, I wouldn't say it, it might give it away. 
Tennis gear with a royal sounding name. <laughs> King Phillips, James, Prince, Anne Bolin, Neckwear, <laughs> Prince, Gap, Queen Elizabeth, Fault King, Prince Edward in a box, Prince Albert, Sir Spaulding. <laughs> Tennis gear formerly known as Prince. That's very funny. Kingston, Elizabeth. Imperial, of course, says redacted. Jeremy B., any guess? Nope. Royal sounding name. Tennis gear. Several of you have it. Prince. I know they make, I see the name on tennis rackets. Prince. Uh, sports glasses, ski goggles, and visors named after the founder's dog. Is there such a thing as here boy sunglasses? No. Oh, wow. Brand of Sunglasses, visors, and goggles, named after the founder's dog. Doggles, Lassie, Rover, Charlie, Fido, Oakley, Wrangler, Spot, Oakley, Spuds, Belly Rub, <laughs> Sir Charles Wags a lot. <laughs> it's very funny. Jamie B, any idea? Spot? Spot, no. A, a couple, of, a few people have it. Dr. Mom has it. It's Oakley. Oakley. You know, I like Oakley's uh, uh, motto. Thermonuclear so protection. Wait, say that again? Oakley is a motto? No, their motto. Their, their slogan? Yeah. Thermonuclear protection. Oakley sports gear? That's their Sun logo? Sunglasses. Oh, sunglasses? Wow. Or somebody else. Some sunglass maker says that uh, their motto is thermonuclear protection. Because, oh, okay. of course, that's what's going on on the sun. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. Uh, okay, final sports question. Boxing brand that hints at its longevity. Wow. The 3D balls coming right out of the screen. Boxing brand that hints at its longevity. Finally mm -hmm. one I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I even knew it before the chat room popped it up. Oh, okay. All right. Jamie B., you can reveal the answer. Everlast. Yup. That hints at its longevity. Very good. Chat room. This was great fun. Uh, um, um, we have a, I'm not saying you're stupid. Wow. I hope, to, I hope for Dennis' sake, this number is low. What percentage of red wine is water? You know, is is any? All right. What percentage of red wine is water? You know, my father used to make wine in the cellar. He grew grapes in the backyard. You know, I, I you know what? I guess there has to be water because. We don't have that many grapes, and he would bottle like a dozen bottles of wine. Uh, wow. Wow. Way up, way up there. Well, what percentage of a grape is water? I have no idea. Well, what percentage of you is water? Oh, You're like, you're like think, a grape, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze me, and you'll find out. Uh, okay, 
I, I'm just going to go with half, 70, 50%. Well, I'm going to say 70. <laughs> now that I've seen these answers, I'm changing it to 70. Yeah, mine Jammer too, B, 70. What percentage of red wine is water? 70. 70. Okay. We're not, no, we're not doing alcohol content. We're doing, it says right on the bottle. I know it says alcohol content. I don't think I've ever seen water. Well, right, if we you go. subtract the alcohol content from 100%, then maybe the rest is water. Oh, you know, you're probably right. What percentage of red wine is water? ta -da! 87%. Mike B., you're dead on. Bill in Michigan, very close. And these are just the ones that I can see. A lot went by. Wow, 87%. Um, I, I don't know. I'll ask it anyway. How many American presidents married women older than older than them? I, I don't think you would they would risk that, would they? How many American presidents married women who are older than they are? Oh my whoa. Wow. How many American presidents? Well, Jam B, how many American presidents have there been so far? Forty six. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> higher than that. Well, um, the last one was okay. Publicized okay. his number quite a bit. So uh, all right, what, case, the last one plus one. Okay, I'm going with 18. What? How many American presidents married women younger than they are? Eight. Forty-seven. Uh, oh, Jeremy, what's your answer? Two. Just two? 17, eight? It's funny. It's kind of way up or way low. No one seems to be... Okay. I'll read it again. Uh, how many American presidents married women who are older than them? Oh, just five. BJ, you came close with six. Oh, Bill in Michigan, five. Wow, okay. And when I pick out people who got it right, it's just what I can see on my screen right now. Um, All right, final question. How many McDonald's restaurants are there in the world? How many McDonald's restaurants are there in the world? <laughs> Doug says uh, 52,462 approximately. 25,000. 16,000 in the world, 20,000, a million, <laughs> 53 building and count, 32,000. If you're looking for one, zero. Uh, I'm going to go with a quarter of a million. Jamie B., how many McDonald's restaurants are there in the world? 10 million served daily. 10 million. Um, oh, way less. There are, according to this card, 37,000 McDonald's. 37,000 McDonald's. Uh, okay. Uh, um, wow, time goes fast. All right, we're going to do our... Mm -mm. Oh, first we're going to do our... Uh, uh, mm -mm. Oh, this is so funny. 
It's Guinness Book World Records. Most Big Macs consumed. This is like a, uh, we should be getting paid for this. Okay. He, th this man has been meet, eating Big Macs <coughs> every day from 1972 uh, to 2008. He eats Big Macs. He, we don't know how many. How many did he consume in all that time? It's the world records record for one person eating Big Macs. And that number is 90,000. 152,000. <sighs> Five hundred thousand, twenty six thousand, <laughs> he died in two thousand and eight. I guess that I guess that's when he went to the Guinness Book of World Records and got and got this. Uh, I don't think he, he's died. Uh, Jamma B, fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Uh, let me look up here. Somebody is anybody really close? From from the ones I see here, a couple people are. Yeah, I have no idea how they verified that. Okay, Donald Grosk ate his. 23,000th Big Mac on August 17th, 2008. 27, uh, 23,000. <laughs> um, I don't know how they say, like with Al Jaffe, I mean, I think that was pretty easy to do. Uh, Al Jaffe, Al, Al Jaffe, that's so funny. This guy, Al Jaffe. Um, holds the Guinness Book of World Records for the l longest running job span of a cartoonist. Something like, I think it's 73 years of actively working. And Al, it must be more than that, because Al retired two years ago at 99, okay? And is now 101. Um, okay. This has happened to all of us, or at least happened to me. You're on the phone, and someone says, are you on the phone? And you say, your snappy reply is, the stupid question is, are you on the phone? Because you obviously are on the phone. And you reply, No, I'm on the moan. No, the phone is in my ear. Oh, okay. No, the phone is in my ear. No, I'm over the phone. No, someone put super glue on the receiver. Uh, no, I'm writing a letter. <laughs> no, I'm on the horn. No, I'm on drugs if I'm talking to you. Uh, I'm next to the phone. No, it's on me. I'm sending Morse code. I'm cleaning my ear. <laughs> with this contraption. Wow. This really spurred an interest in people. No, I'm texting. I'm downloading my consciousness to AOL. What are you, some kind of genius? No, the phone is on me. No, I'm on hold. Uh, no, it sucked itself into my ear. No, this is a high-tech Q-tip. No, it's an acoustic modem. Yes, do you want to get on? No, this thing is attached to my head. No, I'm phone adjacent. No, I'm on a tin can and a string. What are you on? No, I'm just practicing. <laughs> this is a phone? Hang up, honey. I'm finding someone better on AOL. No, I'm driving my car. Okay, let's see what Jaffe put. Oh, you got some matches. 
Um, are you on the phone? No, I'm digging wax out of my ear with this plastic scoop. No, this is a dumbbell. I'm doing arm exercises. Oh, that's good because it does look like that. No, I'm talking to myself through this U-shaped tube. Uh, and then whoever, I, th I showed you last time, whoever I bought the book from, I bought it on eBay, filled in their own quotes. And this person wrote, no, I'm trying to shove myself through this thing to New York. Uh, all right. Let me ring the phone. Do you want to see if Alex is... Oh, you know what, Jim? If you during the transition, could you run two uh, one-minute beer commercials? I probably can. Okay, good. That way we can get Alex, I can get Dennis, and I can also have a sip of drink. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Mm -mm. A beer commercial on its way. Suds time. When you try all your might, but you can't get a bite, there's an idea that's bound to be right. Get a Gunther. Gonna get a G, get a G, yes sir. Gonna get a G, get a Gunther here for me. Gonna get a G, absolutely. The happiest taste in beer today. It's a quicker, cool thirst quencher with a flavor bright and clear. Yes, a golden glass of Gunther. Is the happiest taste in beer. Yes, sir, the happiest taste in beer today. Golden Gunther. Always agrees with your taste. Always so refreshing. Gee, what it does for your thirst. Feels so good. There's no other beer quite like it at any price. Gonna get a Gunther, gonna have a little fun, sir. The happiest taste in beer today. Give me a G. Gunther. Yeah, that is interesting, uh, Mr. Dave said. I wonder how many beer brands have gone extinct. A lot. Although, or isn't it that a lot of beer brands have like eight brands under their umbrella? I wouldn't take beer advice from that gang. Happy hops. Uh, okay, we're going to play a little match game. Did we get Alex? Uh, we got, I think we do. Are you there, Alex? I don't know where Dennis is. Uh, let me let me put him somewhere. <laughs> Dennis, are you here? Bum bum bum. Oh, you on the roof? Did you get Leo's ship going the other way? Pull up a chair. Uh, here you go. I, I missed the arrival this morning. It was too early. Oh morning. yeah, did you did, did you get Leo's ship coming back? No, you can no, just sit in your. Chair. I missed it. Oh okay. They're over there somewhere. Uh, okay, and and Dennis is here now, so we can all play match game. Larry said. Sometimes my wife is so motionless, I could rent her out as a blank. Remember, these questions are, uh, this one is 53 years old, so not politically correct. Larry said, my wife is so motionless, I could rent her out as a blank. I hope we're going to get some matches here as a coffee table, as a lady of the night, um, as a dead guy, as a corpse, mummy, as a bird feeder, Stafford wipe, tree stump, doorstop, speed bump, statue is good, cot, coke, a uh, coat rack, that's very funny, mannequin, plank of wood, Another mannequin as a crash test dummy. <laughs> All right, Alex, we'll start with you. Larry said, my wife is so motionless. Sometimes I could rent her out as a mannequin. Excellent. Jamma B, you said, 
Motionless, I could rent her out as a hat rack. Matches for you. Matches for Dickie D. Mannequin. Dennis said his is very, very politically incorrect. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll just go with mannequin. Okay. Then, um, um, weird Wanda. How weird? Well, she said, listen, if the cookies taste a little strange, it's because I couldn't find chocolate chips and I used blank chips. Weird Wanda. If the cookies taste a little strange, I couldn't find chocolate chips, so I used blank chips. There's a lot of good answers for this. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. Oh, paint chips, that's very funny. Computer chips. Wood chips. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay. I did get a match. Weird Wanda said, if the cookies taste a little strange, it's because I couldn't find chocolate chips, so I used blank chips. And we'll start with Dennis. Who wrote... Oh, okay. I, uh, you know, I don't think he got any matches. But did you got a match? Okay, Dennis said he got a match. I used potato chips. Uh, okay, I said I got some matches too. Couldn't find chocolate chips, so I used poker chips. Jamma B, you said no chocolate chips, I used tortilla chips. Is there such a thing? Oh, I guess, there, yeah, there is. Yeah, absolutely. And Alex, I used what kind of chips? Uh-oh, Alex is scratching his head. Car chips. Oh, what's a car chip? <laughs> uh, it's what you use in chocolate chip cow cookies chips. if you don't have cow <laughs> chips. Oh, cow <laughs> chips. Oh, you got a lot of matches. You got a lot of matches. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> Carol said, my new boyfriend has, uh, forget, uh, don't forget, this is 1983. Carol said, my new boyfriend has the face of John Travolta. Unfortunately, he has the body of blank. I have a good answer. A little obscure, maybe. Carol said, my new boyfriend has the face of John Travolta. Unfortunately, he has the body of blank. Oh, these are good. Porky, Porky Pig. A Bogota. Pee Wee Herman. Dom DeLuise. Jackie Gleason. Oh, my God. I got a match. Andre the Gate. Charlie, we need two more questions, and then it'll be you. No, not yet. Down. Fatty Arbuckle. Miss Piggy. Soupy Sales. Actually, Soupy wasn't so bad. Um, okay, Jamma B, we'll start with you. Carol said, my new boyfriend has the face of John Travolta. Unfortunately, he has the body of... Vinny Bar... Okay. He, he's giving himself the... the yeah, it's from Welcome Back, Connor, you know. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Vinny Barbarina. Um, oh, okay. Alex... Face of John Travolta, but the body of Milton Berle. Uh, okay, I said the body of Orson Welles. I got a match. And Dennis said, oh, that's, that's funny. The body of Frankenstein. Uh, okay. Uh -um. L Lenny said, my family was so poor. My family was so poor, I didn't get my first blank till I was five. Lenny said, my family was so poor, 
I didn't get my first blank till I was five years old. I got some matches. Oh, diaper. Oh, that's funny. Oh, oh okay. I got matches. Plenty of matches. Um, okay, Alex, we're going to start with you. Charlie, oh, any minute now, Charlie. we we'll do one more and then you. Okay. Um, Lenny said, my family was so poor, I didn't get my first blank till I was five years old. And Alex said... My first meal. Okay, meal, you got matches. Jamma B, you said I didn't get my first blank till five years of age. Candy. Uh, um, I got some matches. I didn't get my first pair of shoes. And Dennis said... <laughs> no matches for Dennis. I didn't get my first cocktail. All right, Charlie, one one question and then you, okay? One question and then you. Uh, uh, um. uh, let me see. Oh, unlucky Louis said, nothing goes right for me. At the beach, I held up a seashell and all I got was a blank. Unlucky Louis said, nothing goes right for me. I held a seashell to my ear, and I got a blank. That's funny. Oh, that, oh, that's very good. I got a recording. I got a robocall, a spam call, a busy signal. A telemarketer. That's very good, chat room. A put me down. Pay your bill now. <laughs> Extended warranty. All I got was crabs. That's very funny. Unlucky Charlie, right after this question. Unlucky Louis said, nothing goes right for me. I held this at the beach. I held a seashell to my ear and I got, I got some matches. I got bit by a crab. Uh, Dennis said, held a seashell to my ear. Oh, this is good too. I don't know if you got any matches. I held it. I got static. That's a great answer. Um, Jamma B. Held a seashell to my ear, and I got crab. Very good. And Alex held a seashell to my ear, and I got... Oh, is Alex frozen? Semi-frozen. And I got a pinch. And I think it was probably a crab that pinched him, so we'll give him a match. Uh, oh, okay, we'll give him. Okay. Oh, that's good. That, that works out. All right, chat room. Ladies and gentlemen, he's winching, whining, complaining... And barking. Okay. Judd, hang on. Okay, it's Charlie the dog. Okay, okay. Da Charlie, look at the people. I always forget to bring it. It's Sir Wags a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Wags a lot. <laughs> look at that boy go. Look at this boy go. Here, hit the mic with your tail. Oh, wow. Oh, if it hits the, his tail hits the mic, it stops. Oh, boy, Charlie. Look at you. Look at this guy. Yeah. He said, I'm going higher. I'm going higher. Charlie, you are so funny. He is so driven. He doesn't know why, but I, I, he likes the chat room. He thinks the chat room. Yeah, he, look at it. It just never stops. So wags a lot. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie, you are just so great. So full of fun. Hang on, buddy. Just hang on, hang on. That, 
The weekly sweep in Disneyland. You're right. That is, God, that's very funny. Very funny. All right, chat room, this was great fun. And you have been watching regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. Remember, it's just not for turtles anymore. Uh, it's brought to you by, it's a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wendelin, Dolly the Dog, Jamma B, Scooter X, George Davis, Gensman, Mike B, the go, uh, Chicken Head, Jim Tez, Kylotech, ZX, Giz One, D. Claire, Doug M, Dr. Mom, Chicago Tim, Gumby, Mr. Dave, Loke, Adam24, Okaroo, Demos, Bill in Michigan, Tech Dino. Oh my God, it stopped. That's uh, absolutely astounding. Mandy the Clown. What's you by Turtles? Not just the Turtles anymore. All right, chat room, uh, Giz Whiz on Thursday. And then I guess Leah will be back next week. Uh, Micah did an incredible job. That was just great fun. Uh, okay, chat room, thank you. Jamma B, thank you. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Alex. Alex, good to see you. Uh, hey, he's gone, but we thank him anyway. Oh, uh, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Uh, this was great fun. Great fun. Um, all right, we'll see you all next week. Oh, Myra Joyce, I, did, Myra, did Myra make it to the chat room? I don't know if she went to the pool or not. Anyway, and George, George, thank you. Those those uh, fascinating facts are, are fascinating. It's just great. Um, okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>